please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole, and welcome to Do Dream On if you're new, and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, today y'all see we at a different place, right? Let's just show you just a little bit. We're in a different place, but I do have a video for you guys, and I'm going to show you guys how I made this. You see that? Yes, it's a luggage tag, because clearly I ain't at the crib. So let's go ahead and get to the video, and I can show you how I made it. Lego. All right, I am going to be making some luggage tags today. I'm headed out of town, and I'm going to be making one for me and one for Madison. Really, really simple here. I did get this from my affiliate. I am an affiliate with Heat Transfer Warehouse. Shout out to them. So thank you so much for these luggage tags. And let's go ahead and get Okay, started. so today we are going to be making these luggage tags, which is perfect because I'm making it to go on my trip. All right, so I'm going to just show you. I did get these images from Etsy. It was Feathers of Style is the shop. And I'm just going to show you really quickly how I went ahead and designed it. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to get a blue sky. I'm trying to get something pretty, pretty that looks like it's on vacation, something really, really cute. So, I'm just playing around. When I first started it, I had no idea how I, what I was going to do or how I was going to design it. Y'all know how I do. So, here I am just trying to see what's going to look right with it. So, I'm just playing around and searching. You could get your images from Google, Creative Market, some images that you personally took from out of Canva directly. Anywhere you get some images that works for you, that's perfectly fine. All right. So, I'm just playing around, trying to see what, uh, how I want to do it, what, uh, which way I'm going to go. And, yeah, that's just what I'm doing so far. So I said, let's go to more of a, I said, let's go to more of a beachy feel. So I'm trying to find a pretty beach background. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add the image that's supposed to be me. You know what I'm saying? Um, there with my little bundles going on. So now I'm trying to make it a template because if anyone knows when you have that luggage check, there's a little like oval place where you have to clip it on. So I'm going to put that there so my image can reflect that. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I have everything there. So when I create the image and I print it out and I press it, that it'll go on to my luggage tag fine. And I think that was one inch. So I made sure that I did that oval to be one inch so that it could be reflective of when I'm going to go ahead and print it out. Okay. So I went ahead and did that. Then I'm centering it, making sure everything is is all set and all together. I'm positioning her, making sure I don't put her too uh, too much over on the side because I don't want to cut her off as well. Trying to figure out which luggage I'm going to use and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward but so you can see how I'm actually designing it. Before I do that though, so when you're designing, you want to make sure that when you're putting luggages or different things like that, that you position that to the back so it can actually look like she's holding it. So that's one thing that when you're positioning things, you want to make sure that they look as realistic as possible and that you're putting them in positions to where everything can look realistic and it'll look nice. Because if I would have put the luggage in front of her hand, it wouldn't have looked right. Okay. So we have the luggage behind her hand. I'm putting the words where we can see it. Then I'm going to go ahead, bring that airplane up. I want to tilt it a little bit. So it looks like it's flying over the skies. However you want to design it, you have complete creative control. But these are just some tips that I do. I want to make sure that things look nice, their proportion, different things like that. So that is um, how I want to do that. I do want to make one where it's like my daughter too. So I'm making one for her. So I brought her in trying to make sure her height is correct. And then her luggage is going to be uh, sized proportionally to her. Once again, you can right click it and go to position or position at the top and make sure that it's behind her hand so it could look like she's actually holding the luggage. So 
that's all the things that I'm doing. Then, I, of course, you want to save it at the top so that when you come back looking for it, that you'll have it saved. Yep. So that's just how I did that one. And I'm just playing around with it and making sure that they look good. I actually didn't like the other ones, but I'm going to play around with it and see how those work as well. But I stuck with the beach kind of feel. That The blue sky actually look okay, but I didn't go with that one. All right, so play around, give yourself options. Like I said, have complete control, freedom to see what works for you, what looks good. What you do want to do is make sure that that template oval at the top, please delete that before you actually print this out because you do not want those marks on your templates. So just make sure that you do that. But you go ahead, play around with it, see what feels right, what looks good, and you know, do you. Okay, so I'm just fast forward, playing around with it, making sure that everything is positioned correctly for when I print it out. Um, I did notice that on mine, it looked a little bit empty, so I wanted to add the little passport cover. So I went ahead, added the passport cover. I did go ahead and make sure I'm deleting those um, ovals at the top where I made that template. Remember, I talked about that. But basically, when you design, you figure out what works good for you. You play around with it, and then you make it your own. So that's what I'm doing there. And now I'm going to go ahead. I saved it. Now I'm going to go ahead and merge it into Silhouette. You guys know by now. If you're new, you don't know, I use the Business Edition, but you can use the regular edition. And it's just a personal preference. People ask me, why do I do it this way? It's just something that I did from the beginning. And I'm just a person of habit. That's all. So I'm going to go ahead and merge these inside of the Silhouette Studio. It automatically came out the correct sizes. You see those sizes there? So it came out the same same size that I had saved it inside of Canva and you guys can join my Canva if you want I am an affiliate with Canva you can click the description box down below if you're interested in getting Canva you can try it free you could try the free version you could get the paid version but you could use my affiliate link down below anywho I am going to go ahead and print these out I am using the Epson workforce 7720 all of my colors are are um, popping and those are from presets that I already have used before. Okay. Okay. So now they are printed out. They look really, really good. We're using a sub paper today. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this off with alcohol. We're going to set this up and then we're going to go ahead to our heat press and press it and see how it goes. I was trying to see if it had a clear plastic film over it. it did not but you know some blanks have those clear protective um, pieces of plastic over it this did not but I was just trying to check to make sure upside down so I can make sure it's enough room all around is nothing in that part this 
this is a little thick. I wonder if it's a nice thing. I have the butcher paper on the bottom to protect the heat press and then I'm putting the butcher paper on top to protect the heat press. So make sure that you use your butcher paper and yeah. All right, let's see. You can see it looks like it. Let's see if you can see it. You can see it looks like it came through. I hope the the um, edges was right. That's my only concern, the sizing. Ooh, oh, it's so cute. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, it turned out super cute. I might have even been able to do it. Everything is perfect with the edges. You can actually see here that everything was perfect. I maybe could have turned it down a little bit, but it turned out really, really cute. Oh, the bottom could have been down a little more on this one, but it's not that big of a deal. You can barely tell. This one came out absolutely perfect. This is the one I'm using, so it came out absolutely perfect. This one, when I flipped it over, it probably came up a little bit. It's like so you really can't even tell. But yeah. All right, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. Then I'm going to put it on the leather. Yay! It's so cute. Super cute. So yes, these came out super duper cute. I absolutely love them. The colors are popping. Colors are Cosmo Ink. Paper was a stub. And the luggage tag was from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Thank you so much for providing me with these luggage tags. You guys have amazing items. Make sure you guys check them out. The description is down below. So check them out and use my affiliate link. I do get a small percentage, but it's no extra charge to you. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please go ahead and join our Queen Dreamers Facebook group. We love it over there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. And um, I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.